Hello, my name is Lindsay. This is Rod, Danielle, and Bernard. You're watching the Right Note, and as Christmas hurtles towards us, or is just behind us, depending on where you're watching this, we're going to open up yet another advent calendar, and inside it is the top five albums of 2016. So let's check it out. My number five in my top five albums for this year is The Descendants and Hypercaffeine Spazinate. Apart from them getting a little bit of flack for using the word spaz in their album title, this is an awesome return to form. Uh, it's like it's just good fun music about n normal things, but played so well by a bunch of 40 something, 50 something year olds, a bunch of nerds, and it's great. And there's guitar, and it's just awesome. It's very, very exciting indeed. Uh, number four is the debut album from Montaigne, Glorious Heights. Put your strings on. I, uh, I was a bit annoyed that she didn't put some of the, uh, her earlier singles on this album, but it didn't matter. It had so much great stuff on it, and it was so really just, just really good, intelligent pop music. Obviously, she can sing. Um, the first time I ever saw her in a Triple J, she covered a Chandelier, for goodness sake. But the songs are so inventive and really good, and it was exciting to see it not get watered down for her debut release. Uh, number three, very different, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard and Nonagon Infinity. <laughs> Now, apart from the fact that this album wins the award for pissing off the most number of metalcore fans <laughs> at the Arias for winning Best Hard Rock and Heavy Metal, it is a metal album. It's like a proto-metal album, like Deep Purple or Hawkwind or something. Ridiculous uh, you know, riffs blended into crazy lyric stuff, and it's designed as one continuous thread. Like, the songs blend into each other, and at the end of the album, it goes back to the start again. You can listen to the whole thing as one thing, which can take a very long time if you're going to follow it through to its logical conclusion. But it's excellent. For like one of the you know 18 albums they released this year, it's a damn good one. <laughs> Number two is the self-titled album by Camp Cope. I was very excited when I first got to see these guys play in Melbourne a little while ago and their songs just have this emotional level that I really get into. It reminds me of, I guess, 90s emotional punk rock and um, especially a band that we used to play a lot with called Discount from America. But um, it's just good, it's just emotional but it tells great stories and the song structures are great and the bass playing is fucking mad and um, Georgia has a great voice and it's awesome and that's number two. And my number one album for 2016 is Reclaim Australia by AB Original. Fuck them, homie. They said, hey, Briggs, pick a date. Okay. You know what, well, we can celebrate. For sure. But we can come together, yeah. talk about the weather, call that Australia Day. Because of course it fucking is. It's fucking <laughs> rad. Apart from the album that got Bernard Zool to swear more than I've ever seen him swear before in the review a little while ago. It's just so good. It's like, it's, it's, it's West Coast hip hop, but it's done so, the music's so fun and awesome to listen to. The lyrics are so serious and right on and great cameos. And just go, and, go back and watch Bernard's review. That's, that's why you know it's why it's my number one. Yeah. That is a good record. Yeah. It's a, a cracking record. And it's not radio here, yeah, don't get me wrong. <laughs> as you all agreed, I think, when we reviewed it yeah. uh, on the and show. And just, you know, snuck right in there at the, close to the end of the year and got, well, got the number one. I may have heard a couple of songs a little earlier, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's so, I, I just so stoked because Sometimes things aren't as, like sometimes people, you're like, oh yeah, cool, and it's not quite as good, but this one was, mm. and it still is, you know. Mm. Um, so I very much enjoy it. I think it. it's fucking awesome. <laughs> you, said, you, said, you said. But Camp Cope are another band of huge 2016. Yeah. Really. Yeah, seriously, it's, they, it's one of those things, like when I left Triple J, I, I thought that it was really hard to keep on top of all the new stuff coming out, and like, mm. okay, so who are these guys? All right, so, and suddenly mass, they're getting played, and they're yeah. massive, and they're playing these big gigs, and they're saying all the right things, and they're getting hated by all the all the right people who, <laughs> to hate them, you know, all the idiots that wear their fedoras and bloody like to, you know, cry wank into their computers. So they're doing correct things, and it's good to hey, see them you're writing good songs. Describing my well. career there. <laughs> 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 I, I have never seen you in a fedora. 